plastic surgery is no longer just for women. The American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery reported a 60% increase in the number of male patients in 2005. Some say it's the baby boomers trying to stop the aging process, and others blame our youth-obsessed culture. Or maybe men are just more comfortable admitting that they care about their looks. Joining us now to talk nips and tucks is Dr. Michael Jones. He's a plastic surgeon in Manhattan, and he's affiliated with New York Presbyterian Hospital. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So, men are vain. Women have known this for years. Now we have scientific proof. Well, it is a very popular trend nowadays to have men coming forward seeking out cosmetic surgery. It's not just for the rich and famous anymore. There was 10 years ago maybe a, a trend that these were celebrities, these were people that were rich. Well, now you have everyday people that are seeking out minor changes to make themselves look more rejuvenated and younger and healthier. And I've just got to know, what do, who do men want to look like when they come in? Do they come in with pictures of celebrities? Who do they like? They often come in with two in particular, Denzel Washington and Tom Cruise. Oh, we can't go wrong with either of those. According to the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, the most common plastic surgeries for men are liposuction, nose jobs, and eyelid surgery. And the most common non-surgical procedures are both Botox, laser hair removal, and fillers like Restylane for wrinkles. What do you see in your practice? What's most popular? Well, I think uh, pretty similar. Uh, for the non-surgical procedures, Botox tends to be one of the most popular, getting rid of forehead wrinkles, getting rid of those crow's feet around the eyes. Um, these are things that can be done during your lunch time. Uh, no downtime, no post-procedure uh, swelling or bruising. Uh, injectable fillers are also very common just to add a little fullness to the face to help with the smile lines. Now are these the same for men and women? Are there, are there different considerations that you that you take in, and keep in mind? With the non-surgical approaches, no, but with the surgical approaches, yes. Uh, you don't want to feminize a, a man's eyelids if they're complaining of heavy bags around the eyes. When you take away those bags, you don't want to give them a feminine looking eye. Likewise, for nose surgery, you don't want to give them a feminine looking nose. You want to still retain that masculinity. Makes sense. Well, we do have a viewer email question. Sungwon from Manhattan wants to know, he says, I work out every single day, but my chest muscles just aren't where I want them to be. I think pectoral implants look fake. What should I do? Well, I would continue to work out first off, but pectoral implants can make a difference in those that are looking for a little fullness in the chest. Uh, it's a different implant than what you get with a, with a breast augmentation for a woman. It's a, it's a firm implant, but it can give you some fullness in the chest if you feel that working out just isn't giving you the, the look that you're looking for. Thanks so much. This has been great information. And that's today's Dose of Healthy, Wealthy Wise. I'm Dr. Holly Phillips.